Hi everyone and welcome to a run through of Dinosaur World. Bit of an unusual one because this is not a solo game and I don't believe they have the intention of providing rules as a solo game but I do enjoy Dinosaur Island and this Kickstarter is currently being packaged with the Dinosaur Roll and Write, the Raw and Write game which was good fun um, and it felt like quite a crunchy game for what is a fairly light genre so I'm going to give it a playthrough again we're going to have to go as a two-player game which is a little bit awkward to keep track of on something like Tabletop Simulator but we'll go for it um, hopefully this is going to be enjoyable as I say I've got Dinosaur Island and thoroughly enjoy that the roll and write was good so we are into the last 40 hours of the Kickstarter but potentially if you're backing the roll and write it may be of interest as well whether the heavier beefier big brother is any good it certainly sounds like it's got some interesting mechanics so I've set up green and red players here shuffled and flipped over a few scoring objectives and what we're going to do first of all is a tile draft there's three uh, buildings and three paddocks and player one will draft then player two will take one and then the opposite so you end up with one of each one building one paddock some of them might give you immediate points so the amber extraction here would be an immediate three points to somebody let's see what we've got for every yellow worker choose a unique adjacent tile plus one what is that the symbol for excitement no that looks like this victory point one victory point Oh yeah, this. So goats just get you points for adjacent tiles. That's pretty good. Casino, draw and roll five dice, choose a DNA symbol, gain a coin for each die with one or more of that symbol. Amber extraction, send a scientist to gain DNA optionally, lose two excitement. Yes, lose two excitement to gain more DNA. Doesn't get you much excitement to start with, so you could only use this a couple of times before it starts to lose your excitement. But if you use it to supplement getting dinosaurs out, that could be quite good. Likewise, this is going to lose your excitement fairly quickly. So then we've got what looks to be a small carnivore and a large carnivore. The numbers are slightly different. So these, the micro raptors aren't particularly exciting by themselves, but if you get a large herd of them, very exciting. Whereas these are pretty stable across the board. For some reason, three of the Lophostrophius trying to work out where to put the uh, the beat like Microraptor is a nice easy one Dilophosaurus fine Lophostrophius Lophostrophius let's go for it for some reason the final one you build very exciting but doesn't add much threat so I think we might go for for this with player one player two's thinking they know they've got their choice of these two no question because player one can't take two of the same can't take two um, enclosures so they have to go with one of these so player two might as well grab the one that they want i think they're going to go for the casino the sound of 
getting all that potential for money is pretty good. So let's go for Amber Extraction. And if they're getting lots of money, Let's try and get our security up nice and high with potentially our casino money. So these then go back onto the top of their corresponding decks. You can do a beginner draft which gives you recommended pairs, I guess just to make it a little bit easier. And these can be out of their park at no cost, touching um, yeah, at either, any of the four edges of their welcome centre, which is important because this is the Jeep tour, I think. Let's just, ah no, because then we, we couldn't trigger both. Let's go like this. And for the same logic, we'll go here. So at least if we do a tour of two, we can hit both of them. Since enclosures can't go ne next to other enclosures, we could put one, a new dinosaur pen here, or down here this way. So that works okay. We're then gonna go into the higher worker phase where we're going to draw three of these cards. One, two, three. And first player will choose. So each worker... Oh no, we choose one of these as well, don't we? So we, we start with an ability token and we'd get it immediately. We need a lot of DNA for our dinos here, so let's put this in and take another orange. Whereas over here we're looking at going heavy for money and wherever money gets us. So let's take two extra coins. So purple workers can be used at the Jeep garage. Yellow for security, green get us income, blue lets us refine DNA, anything for dinosaurs. We also have gather DNA, blue, uh, blue meeples get extra DNA, or oh, green gives us a discount on the enclosure. So if we want lots of DNA, I think we'll go here. And here, so this one gets discarded. So once everyone selected a card, place all worker database cards that were dealt to the discard pile next to the deck. So let's just take what we need. One purple, green, blue, one yellow, one, two, three, four white, one, two, three, four white, one yellow, and we need one extra purple. Oh, where did you guys come from? You can go away. Then it's public actions. So we're going to draw a number of die equal to the players plus two. Shuffle up the bag. One, two, three, four. And roll these up. Place 
as the men. So in turn order players use one public action. Any workers coins spent go to general supply. If they don't take an action they can pass. But once you've passed you are skipped and can't come back in and you will just join back in in phase three. So there's a wild DNA, but there's also just three blue. And for every worker we assign, gain all DNA icons multiplied by the number of workers. So we could get a lot of blue DNA. Um, we should fill this out. Take a look as well. Create up to two dinosaurs each with less DNA being used. Somewhere for a triceratops. Raptor pen. Okay, these we can have one of each. So draw and roll, gain the indicated DNA, plus one coin, one coin for each adjacent tile, one excitement for each adjacent tile. So they're pretty good probably to get going early. we've got no herbivores yet so we're definitely looking at threat being an issue and security were yellow so we probably want to save this for security because that gets us a, a discount we can create a, D, a dino which could be any colour. Yeah, let's get some get some DNA. I think that triple DNA spot is a bit too tempting. So he goes just back into general supply. And we want the three, but we might as well send an intern as well. So we will gain two, four, six blue DNA. And for every blue, we can gain another DNA of our choice as well. Let's grab another green since that works here. Oh, we should have been this player first. That's fine. This player is much more in need of advanced DNA. So two blue meeples over here. Again, just return to supply. We'll take the wild DNA die. So they can take one purple, one orange. And with there's no no red or yellow showing, but they've got two each of those. Blue. The second one would need another red, so they'll take one more red and a purple from their blue meeples. Back over here then. What shall we do? Feels like we don't quite need another pen just yet. DNA. I mean, all these buildings are quite good. We don't have to assign workers here. Let's just check that. Build an attraction. Choose one of the four available attractions. Pay the coin. No more than one of each. 
think at the end there's a summary of each building. So restaurant for one coin for each park tile of any type. Roller coaster one excitement for each tile of any type. Yeah. So I think these are worth building. So we'll pay two for the restaurant. Accidentally take every restaurant. Because even a restaurant here for two, if we activate it, gets us two coins back. Um, it should be keep going in the wrong order don't I so let's just do two actions over here and I think I think we'll do similarly we want more security so activating security is going to be pretty useful to us so we take one of those which is eight money although it's not fantastic early while it's cheap so let's go for the restaurant. So that's two money spent. And then let's build the roller coaster as well for another two. We can't activate everything because our Jeep isn't going to be high enough. So there's nothing that increases our Jeep tour except by uh, sending a worker here, but we can we can do that with three workers pretty cheap. We can increase security. Create a dino and get some money. So we could use one more worker out here. So probably not getting another building. The Velociraptor is just fairly cheap to get. No huge extra DNA costs. Do I want to go for that? I think I might save the workers. So red's going to pass. This is definitely too many workers for them. copy and paste error I think which means I think we're one DNA fewer over here and they would have had to have used a white two four six seven yeah they used two meeples so yellow for security is good two purples for the Jeep tour green to get some money a white for a Jeep tour white to make dino I think just white to get more money so they're both going to pass yeah let's pass and go on to phase two then No, that was phase two. Phase three. 
private actions. So everyone can do this simultaneously and it's just using the slots on your park board. So let's work out what we've got. A Jeep and we pay the space we move into. So it cost one, but we get a one discount. Oh no, that one, yeah, sorry, that one's there. That costs us one. And we can put something immediately in. It could be to get another meeple. Yeah, let's do that. We can claim a purple and immediately go here and increase it for one. Likewise, we want to increase our security. It would cost one, but that lets us do it for free. We want to get three money. One, two, three. We will make a dino and it costs the DNA that's shown at the top plus the space that you're placing it into and you've always got to start from the leftmost. So we need one of each colour basic DNA, one yellow, one red, one blue, one purple, one orange for our red dino. We immediately get five victory points and one one lightning. I'll have to look up what that iconography is because that's different to what's shown for excitement. There is two threat. Go there. So we want to do more security because otherwise that's going to be a problem. We don't match the colour so we're going to have to pay one. We could create another dinosaur but we'd get another two threat which would be two deaths. But it would make our park a lot more exciting on the Jeep tour. And is that, is that not the point? Oh, I think this is the excitement, isn't it, down here? Let's go for it. We're going to collect a few deaths over here. So the second spot needs one, two reds and one yellow. One purple, one orange. And we'll go for another dinosaur. So this one is eight points and two threat. That's all the work is used. Now over here, having seen such a cavalier attitude, what do they want to do? I think again, we've bought a lot of buildings so we're looking at doing Jeep tours. So the first one would cost one with a discount is fine and then two with a discount of one cost us one. I think getting that extra purple meeple to save us a coin now seems like a good option. So again one. We can then increase security Again, this is free. The second one costs one. We'll get four money back. Create one dinosaur, which is a red, a green and a blue. We've got lots of blue. And that's a purple. So it's again to threat. 
and three points. Got a fair bit of money left over. I think they go ahead and increase their security again. So this will cost two coins. So that's all the workers. Let's just check then the iconography. Unfortunately, iconography isn't particularly listed. Um, make dinosaurs. If you've paid, increase threat. Yeah, everywhere it's got these sort of brackets is where an icon is going to sit. Coins, death. Let's see if we can match that icon. Does that have a building which shows similar? If you're in chat and you know what the lightning... Oh, it's immediate. Yes, of course it means immediate. What an idiot. So immediately get. Yes, okay, okay. Just a little bit weird with it lining up like that. Of course it means that. So we've done... Activating buildings. Make dinosaurs phase four jeep tour. Yes. So once the jeep tour phase finished, taking all the actions to start the jeep tour, all players can do it simultaneously. Start at your welcome center. Total distance your jeep may move is equal to the number of jeep move tokens you have unlocked. For example, if you are upgraded to zone three. So we can move one, two, three. Seems like something we're going to do. There should be negative excitement tokens. Which I'm definitely not seeing. I guess it's these. Yeah, these would make sense. But first of all, we're going to get two excitement and then we add a new one here. We need, let's take these dice. Need to roll the purple small carnivore die. No deaths. The Jeep tour continues. Ah, oh, we didn't save a green worker, did we? We should. We needed to save them for these tiles. Yes, that's how we activate them. So we can activate it and just get the excitement, which is probably worth doing here, but not at the restaurant. So we come to the casino. And gets us three more excitement, so we get five excitement. Definitely wasn't worth upgrading all this Jeep action and not saving anyone to uh, actually use these buildings, but 
our dupe can come up here. We're going to get four excitement and we will roll the large carnival die. Oh, two deaths. Considering what I know is about to happen as well, that wasn't great. So two deaths over here for four excitement. Definitely a, a better set of excitement over at the casino. For the next two dinosaurs we get here, that really make things interesting. Okay. So each time your dupe enters a tile, you may choose to activate it by spending the workers or resources. Each tile you activate generates excitement. When you have no dupe, move left. The tile is over. Gain excitement. If there is no boredom token on the tile, place one there, showing the one. Take the action, which we've done. Activating dino paddocks. Gain, spend excitement. Yeah, add together each one, subtracting boredom, increase boredom, dino attacks, and then income, return the dupe. Gain all benefits of dupe bonus tokens you've slotted into your dupe upgrade track. Okay. So we'll get an advanced DNA and a meeple. So we're going to want a purple. Otherwise we won't be able to do this DNA. And a meeple. Let's get a blue scientist. So hopefully we can save him for the amber over here. Over here we're going to get two coins, and again any worker, so let's go with a green, again same logic. Then coin income, coins based on excitement, so four and five. Lots of money down at the red, red park. Reset the excitement marker back to zero. Oh, okay. So it's only as exciting for that one round. Interesting. Return all workers. Evaluate threat. If you have more threat than security, gain a death. Nice and safe casino park here. Two threat, three security. Over here, however, four threat, two security. And people were saying it wasn't exciting. I don't know. What were they watching? Uh, clean up the central island. Return all DNA dice to the bag. Discard two dinosaur paddock tiles. It's these ones. One, two. Discard two special buildings, three if it's two players. One, two, three. Oops. Where's that keep disappearing to? Curious, curious. That's the last for that stack though. Adjust turn order based on victory point. Fewest victory points first player. So red is first. Advance the turn round marker. I 
think this is just a reminder to zero out your... And then... Yeah, carry on again. So, red player going first, we will draw three new work cards. And let's see, we needed a green for the casino. Do we see... I'm assuming we see what DNA is available first and then we choose workers. So let's place these out. No advanced DNA this round for us, just basic there. So having blue workers to gain the advanced DNA is probably pretty good. He's got his green worker. So red will go for this combination. Two, three. Seems fine. So we've got a blue for over here. Green. It's good for funding. I don't think we need this many though. So we'll go for this card. We'll get us another blue, two green. A yellow, purple. One, two, three whites. Okay, so red is going first. Red could look at building some more dinos there. We've got the Ankylosaurus as well, which isn't particularly exciting in low numbers. They're fine on security, so red. No, something which uses a lot of blue DNA would have been perfect right now, but this is here. This does need red DNA as well. So yeah, let's use two blue and a white for DNA on this die. So we're gonna get six red, two, four, six, and two DNA of our choice. So we could get a teal and orange. We need teal here anyway. So even if green decides to take another carnival pen, we can make use of the DNA we just picked up. Over here, let's think, we need one meeple we're gonna place on Amber Extraction. A roller coaster gets us excitement but less, it's not worth as much as just getting coins. So if we were to save an intern over here, what else do we have then? We need more security. So probably a yellow. Resort is just spending money for more points, which is okay. It's a better exchange rate than at the end of the game. This is this is good security. We have just enough to buy it. And then we can get money at the restaurant and come down. Yeah, let's buy security. But 
all of our money. So we can assign our yellow worker to security. Which is after we would have activated this. We can get a couple of cheap ones and bump it up. Which means if we can manage to get more DNA, we should be fine for one, two, three. We might just survive this one, having one more dinosaur. It's possible. Over here then, it hasn't been taken, so a green worker would get us a discount. So let's use our green worker and we can get this dinosaur. It can't be adjacent to another pen. So let's go there. Still another tile next to the restaurant. And that costs two money. Over here then, we're thinking probably a decent amount of extra security. Although we don't have the money for that, we'd have to use green workers here. And then we could do a jeep tour two jeep tours and then we could go one two three four that would be perfect we'd get three four five six seven money we'd have to pay one we'd have to pay four so we'd have three left over no we couldn't do couldn't do everything there. But one more coin and then we risk a few deaths. I think green is going to pass. That seems like they've used all of their actions. Over here we wanted We're going to pay one more money. We forgot that green worker was reserved. So we'll get rid of just a white worker. Yeah, so they need the green worker here in the casino. They've got a reasonable amount of money, so they're not too worried about the restaurant. So if they could get one, two, three Jeep movement, which they've already got, that should be fine. So really they just want DNA and to build some dinosaurs. So let's, let's get one of these. Um, DNA refinement, so two red, two blue, one green, one orange. Gets us a red dino. Which is immediately two threat, five points. They do have they do have enough to do it again. They know the other park is a lot more dead. So is it worth it? Increasing security would be good. They've got loads of money, so should we look at the security there for eight because they're going to get more money here as well and we could have
I could spend these two meeples on the Jeep garage. One on security and this guy in the security office. Yeah, let's go heavy for security. And replace it there. So that costs eight money. So green's passed and now red will pass. So instead of the public actions, we are on to private actions. Um, yeah, let's start with this player since they're technically going first. Yellow needs to be on security. So in the Jeep garage, They'd have to spend four money because of the discount. It'd be two and three, which should cost five, but one discount. So all their money's gone. So they won't be able to afford this security. So instead, we'll gain this token and we will take three money. get an immediate security. Oh, actually, the, uh, the dinosaur we built, we should be doing it at this phase, but it doesn't matter too much. So we're saving one yellow, one green worker for our Jeep tour, that's pretty good. Over here, we're getting a lot of money from funding. It'll be four, seven, eight money. And then spending on the Jeep tour again, one discount means this costs four for the two upgrades. and a security. Although we can do that after we've paid for this. Not that it makes a difference. So it would cost four for these two upgrades. And that's everyone there, yes. So then we will go to Jeep Tour, Jeep Garage, Jeep Tour. So both players are now up to four movement. So we'll go one. This gets two excitement minus one. So it gains one excitement. Since we've been here before, it's not, not overly thrilling. And then come to the casino where we've got this green guy. So we can roll five dice, choose a symbol, and gain a coin for each die that shows that DNA type. So one, two, three, four, five. We've got two orange, so we'll take two money. And it's three excitement minus one, so we'll gain two and put that on it. And then, oh, not there. Not moving the dinosaur, we're moving the Jeep. Then we're coming here. It's two excitement minus nothing. And then we're coming here for two security. Uh, 
but we need to roll a purple and a red for these two. So one death. But they are doing a much better job of containing the issues over here. In this park, again we've got four movements, we're going to come up here and it's four excitement minus one. So we get three excitement there and roll the red die. Ooh, nobody that time. Then we'll come here, it's two excitement minus zero. So another two excitement. I didn't. Yeah, we activated that, it's not exciting. So it's one, two, three, four excitement. Yeah, it just seemed like they didn't get too much, but they don't have particularly exciting buildings. For some reason I didn't give them the red dinosaur either, did I? Let's add that in. Oh no, I did, I just moved it instead of the Jeep again, as usual. Okay. So, and then we will come down to the restaurant and we'll get one, two, three, four coins for the adjacency. And one excitement. And then we will come to security for no excitement. But two security. Yeah, instead of increasing security we could have made a dinosaur, couldn't we? Oh well, we're fine. No deaths this time. Excellent. So then we move down to round three. Red is still last, we get five income each. Get rid of all the meeples. Okay. Need more dinos, need more dinos. Put these back in the bag. Shuffle up. One, two, three, four. All these. What do we have? We do have two advanced DNA this time red or double yellows we need to get rid of. Yeah these would have slid down. So get rid of these two and one two. We'll get rid of one two three. Oh there it was. So they were under there, just hidden. Good. Okay. So I think we want the choice of DNA over here. And oh, we would gain all of these, don't we? So we get one security, any meeple, and 
they definitely want to make sure they have at least a yellow, so they take a yellow. And an advanced DNA, which you need one of each for this dinosaur. And then also yellow and red, which should be fairly easy. Next one needs lots of purple, so they'll take a purple. Over here it's two money. A security and any meeple. And I think they want to make sure they have a green, actually, which would have been a good choice because they didn't select one. Yes. So if they want to activate the amber extraction, and they need a blue scientist. So I think they'll take this card. So two green, two more yellow. Uh, the blue was their choice anyway. And these white. Yep. It's the little things when you can't physically grab people, the meeples, that it's just frustratingly that little bit harder than it should be. But there we go, we've got everything we need. So red is going first again. Let's see what we have. Danger toys plus one per wheel, which is pretty good. Three points. You need to have a purple worker in there. Repeat any number of times. Get rid of DNA for points. I think we're by the danger tour. We need any meeple. Welcome Center is going to move soon. At the end of this round, actually, so. I want it next to places we're still going to go. So if we can create another route between our pens, that'd be pretty good. So let's put it here. So that we could have another. Actually, no, we've got. A dino here and here, so it doesn't make too much difference. We'll put the danger tour there. So we need to get rid of one worker and three money. Over here, we need advanced DNA. So let's send. Well, we've got one worker wants to come here, one security probably here as well, and a guy to the restaurant. So let's send these. We'll get rid of three workers to grab a die. And we take purple, because purple is part of our recipe. So we get three purple, one, two, three, and we can get one other DNA. We'll take the orange. So that's enough basic DNA, uh, enough of the advanced DNAs, but we're still short. Actually, yeah, let's not, let's get one, one fewer purple. That seems extravagant. Background over here then. Do we need any of these colors? Yes, teal is a colour we use. We've got our green worker here. One purple here and a yellow here would be fantastic. But we wouldn't get round unless we used three workers in the Jeep garage. Then we could go one, two, three, four, five. 
So do we spend two workers for DNA and one to create another dinosaur? I think we do. So we will take the green die for two advanced DNA there. We've got we've got enough for one raptor here, which is fine. So let's take another orange and a purple as our blue bonus. Here then, let's think one, two, three, four movement is probably still fine this turn if we can build these dinosaurs. So we're going to need more basic DNA. What was there? There was a double yellow. If we activate here, we can get basic DNA, but that's after we've done our actions. We need red and yellow which are both here. So one meeple to take the double yellow die. Can always get a different dino. T-Rex is here, which would, you know, it's a T-Rex. But we just need more dinos. Over here then we had one purple worker left, is that right? So we could go here, which we probably need to. Three, six, nine. We have exactly the money then. So let's build a dino. And who's worth more? This is immediately worth more points, but excitement wise, they're very similar. Let's go for another red. So we need to get rid of two red DNA, one green, one orange and purple because of the space we're covering. Which will immediately get us two threat and five points. Oh, except, yeah, we're not doing this dinosaur phase now, but they're passing. Uh, this guy needed... two workers for this die to get two red. And then they should be able to... No, they needed to send one more with yellow because I missed this. Yeah, nothing could have stopped us getting that extra yellow. So we've got two people that can create dinosaurs, which is four threat, but that should just be fine. It feels like I've played green a little better than red so far, but let's do other action spaces. We were doing nine money here on the Jeep garage to go one, two, three. And we take the... Do you want the advanced DNA option? Or two basic is pretty good. Let's go two basic. Yeah, 
and we can build one dinosaur we want oh yeah we've already we've already done the dinosaur build didn't we so we used him and those it's confusing to have the two different meeple placement rounds one should be just the boards up here and then the next is on your player board i keep confusing the two together down here then we're going to just place two dinosaurs in the make dino phase which is one red one yellow one orange one purple and then one blue one green For an immediate three threat, nine points. And the next one is a red, a yellow, an orange, a purple, another purple and yellow. That's immediately one threat and 12 points. And then we move to the Jeep phase. We can move five spaces with the Jeep. Where are we? So we can go one, two, three, four, five. So first of all up here, it's actually not worth activating it, is it? So we, we'll leave this micro raptor for now. Unless we've got a better route. One, two, three, four, five, but we don't have a worker to activate the restaurant. Yeah, we'll just drive up here. So it's plus one point per Jeep and we roll the purple die. Nothing. So we get five points, I believe. Which feels pretty nice. It is two excitement minus one. We then come down to the casino. This is only one excitement. But we can roll five dice. One, two, three, four, five. And we've got two purple or too blue so we're gonna get too money and we'll come then down here and this is five excitement minus one and roll the red die no deaths nice and then we'll come down here, we lose one excitement because no one wants to stop off by the security checkpoint, but we will take that to security. Around here we've got four, so we can move one, two, three, four. So up here, first of all, it is 10 excitement minus two, so we will gain eight excitement for visiting all of those. Yeah, it definitely feels like filling up one paddock first is a good option. Let's roll. Double death. And we'll come here. It's one excitement and 
and we can gain any two DNA. So the only dinosaur we know is going to still be here is this one, which isn't fantastic. So let's just grab those. We could spend to excitement to gain again, which is only likely to cost us one money. So actually, why not? Let's get those. And we then get one per tile, which is four for no excitement. And coming here, we lose one excitement for two security. So yeah, the difference between being on five excitement and seven excitement, I think paying one coin for those two DNA was worth it. Excellent. So red is still way behind. They definitely haven't been getting played particularly well. Both players get five coins. And now at the start of round three, or after round three, before four, we're going to take our home tile and flip it. This welcome center as a park entrance. So we could place it anywhere else. So I think we'll place it here because we want to still use the raptor here. Yeah, we should have probably placed this tour here, shouldn't we? But that's fine. It is where it is. So we definitely still want to make sure of, uh, we're using this dinosaur just because it's fantastic. So I think we won't go far. We will just move, oops, move up here. And then we can get some more more buildings constructed around here. One, two, three, four, five. We can just drive around the park entrance with potentially three good pens. That could be worthwhile. We've got these four. We could get three small carnivores to get the eight points from this. Ooh, they've reached five on the Jeep track, so they can score out of those four points. That's something. Five special buildings and two dinosaur tiles. Have they managed that one as well, actually? One, two, two, three, four, no. Do these count as special tiles? I don't think they do. So they're at one, two, three special tiles and two. So they need two more of these buildings and they can get these four points as well. And they've got both of what they need for this, just more dinosaurs. Okay, so they could potentially claim all of the objectives first. Maybe let's just say that's what we're trying to go for with these guys. So these would have moved down, which means these disappear, and this, no, this one would have disappeared. And then we get these out. These disappear, and these come out. So there is no purple for the green player to try and score this objective. buildings. Equipped to two dinosaurs, each using one fewer. That's pretty good. Raptor pen for each unique tile. Choose a unique tile. 
and plus one for each dinosaur there. Yeah, you lose a lot of excitement to get those points. But excitement does only get you money. Excitement's not a massive deal, is it, if you've got other sources of income? Or other ways of doing things. So to use security here is a pretty good way. Yeah, pretty good way of avoiding needing to get money to upgrade. Jeep Tour is already at its maximum. There's just the seven points if we cap it out. But we're going to get one security, two income. One meeple of any colour, and they're going to keep a purple for those points. Get rid of all of our workers. Green's a little hard to, to see against this colour scheme at times. Should have chosen a different player colour. Alright, so. Um, three new cards. Two, three. Okay, so. If we're keeping a purple, we'd like a green and a yellow, ideally. Which could be any of them. The purple is a good way of increasing the Jeep track, but we don't really need that. Green is a good way of getting more money. Or the incubator. Let's take this card. So at the very least we force the green player to either have no blue or no purple. Um, oh, they haven't actually chosen their stuff, but they were probably keeping a blue, weren't they, let's be honest. This amber extraction. They get one advanced DNA. Sure, yeah, and one security. So that goes on there. But I think he is still going to go for this card. So we need two green, two yellow, four white, and a blue plus our bonus. Over here we want purple, a green, a blue. We need two yellow. And the four white workers. Red is still first player because they are behind. So let's see, with our DNA... Oh yeah. Draw the DNA dice, that's what else we need. Oop, not flip the bag, shuffle the bag. One, two, three, four, five. We've got one colour of advanced, and we're not drawing five, we're drawing, f we're drawing four, it's five from the casino. One, two, three, four. All basic again. So hopefully people have got what they need. Or blue meeples. There is the DNA refinement. That is a worker action as well. So if we get one more orange, I think would need 
five red. No, we're one red short. One yellow, one blue. So that's definitely fine. Two orange. So is there... There is yellow up there. So just getting yellow DNA is enough. And we could get both of these dinosaurs built, which would be 21 points, which we definitely have to do. It's at the start of our Jeep tour, so we're definitely going through there. We could then, if we were to get... Oh no, we didn't need yellow, we needed red. Yeah, red's there. If we were to get enough red, we could get another dinosaur here. So at least it's getting some more points for us. So let's go with three meeples first of all for DNA. We're going to take the red die, so we get three red. And we needed... another orange. We will have to refine the yellow and blue to get a teal for here. So that would be one, two dinosaur, uh, one, yeah, one, two to create dinosaurs. One to refine the DNA and then a third to create this dinosaur. Which leaves us with three workers. That's not awful. That is not awful. Over here then, we really wanted a purple pen. So we could try and get this objective but there aren't any so what DNA have we got we've got basically none of any so probably our best bet if we want dinosaurs this round would be brontosaurus which are pretty terrible but it is one more towards this objective as well we've only got one structure though. Actually this player does have enough if they want to build the incubator, although they haven't kept a... No, they haven't kept a blue, blue worker, they needed it for the DNA. We do have blue workers actually, so we could get two advanced DNA, which is enough for one Spinosaurus, which is almost as many victory points as two Brontosaurus. So yes, let's send green worker to get this pen. And it would cost three but one discount, so two money for the Spinosaurus pen. Our player here then. They do need more of these buildings to create uh, complete the other objective. They've got they've got two two and it needs five actually so they're quite a way away. None of these are particularly cheap either. Raptor pen is points for purple dinosaurs. So if they're going to fill this, one, two, three, four, five. That could be an option. They've got a yellow worker. Yeah, so let's keep our green worker. Let's use one of our yellows to get the raptor pen. There's no discount on these buildings. Actually, yeah, attractions don't need workers. That's the one. So we could then potentially on our tour come one, two, three, four, five.
Ah, but yeah, it wouldn't be worthwhile this round. We don't go to the micro raptor pen, we could do security here. Just create dinosaurs. Go one, two, three, four. Even just getting money from the raptor, perhaps. So they're probably going to pass over here. We need to get that DNA, so let's use our two blue meeple and probably the double yellow. So we get four yellow DNA, two, four. Although Spinosaurus does need blue, doesn't it? Well, that's fine. We get one two with the blue. This guy's going to pass. We will then go Is there another? Draw and roll two and gain the indicated DNA plus a coin. I think we're going to send a worker out here with seven of our hard earned dollars. Build an incubator. And then we will send two out together to blue DNA. Ah, oh, no, we didn't keep a blue worker. The incubator's. Well, it's useless to us this round, but hopefully we can use it in the future. But at least it gives us a path to get to the Spinosaurus pen. Okay, so remaining workers, we were looking at saving a guy for the casino, guy for security, and the danger tour, so we can come one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So to create dinosaurs, if we're creating two dinosaurs, we need five red, which we've got. We need two of each green and orange, which we've got. And we need a yellow and a blue. So immediately that is six threat, which is scary. But we know we're driving through security, so that's actually not too bad. And 21 points. Wow, those are big points. Guy left over. Is it worth the money 
to start aiming for these seven points, or do we convert a yellow and blue into a green DNA? I think that's probably worthwhile because then at least we've got it for next time. A yellow and blue. We can get that raptor because not only is that points, but it's points from the raptor pen. So that's all their workers used except for the ones that will be on the tour. And over here we're looking at going one, two, three on our tour because we don't have either of these blue scientists. Um, we want two Spinosaurus over here. I think any increase in security is going to cost four at this point, even though we're down here. Oh, actually, we should be on that point, shouldn't we? Um, so let's see where we get to in terms of threat. If we create one of these, which is two blue. Oh, we can't create. Yeah, we needed more red. Well, that's a shambles. What are we playing at? One red, two blue, one green, one orange. Gets us just the one dinosaur here. Which is immediately one threat and four points. So we can't get another dinosaur. We could get funding. Or we could increase our Jeep tour, but I don't, I don't think we're going to need to for a while. So yeah, let's get some funding. That'll be four credits. Let's increase security. Actually, is it worth getting down here then? We could go one, two, three, one. Yeah, maybe we'll leave this and save one security for here as well. We've definitely been here. One. So we could save get some money, but let's get the discount. So it's four, but we'll spend three because of the discount to get one more security. And we get two more, which puts us reasonably, reasonably ahead of where our threat will be. Considering we've got only dangerous dinosaurs. So the tour, we're looking at going here for minus two excitement. I don't know what happens with excitement if... Gain excitement. Okay, if you do not have the excitement, you may not activate the tile. Oh, okay, okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So if we come here, we will get four excitement. Yes, okay, we can still do it. We get four excitement, but then lose two. I get two deaths. But we get that two security. So we've gone one, two. Let's put that two excitement on. Three, four, we'll roll five DNA dice. One, two, three, four, five, come back.
and we have yellow, yellow, yellow. So we get three credits. And lose, no, gain one excitement. And then that was one, two, three, four. And we'll come up here. So we gain five points. And gain one excitement. So that's an interesting mechanism. You've got to have excitement in order to activate. Uh, why do I only give us four excitement here, actually? I didn't count these two extra dinosaurs, so let's give ourselves six more. Uh, you know, it's only six excitement. It's a small change. Yeah, you need to have excitement to do anything else. That's interesting. We need to roll the purple die. No deaths. Okay. Not a bad run. He's only got three deaths. There's a few more over here. So we're going to come down here. And it's eight excitement with no one dead. That's one, two, three, and then we'll activate here for four. So we're getting two more security at the cost of one excitement. You just go through. <laughs> One dinosaur pen to security, and out you go. Perfect. Nobody's threat is higher than... Oh, yeah, you've got plenty of security. Have you not gone above 10? 2, 4, 6, 8... Nine, yeah. Just seems with five carnivores it should be higher. Five large carnivores. Okay. Into the final round and now we're back to green as first player. So no purple, so a green player can't complete that objective. Feels like I should have made a pile with fewer of these tiles in, because we didn't get to the C tiles, which are probably... I was going to say end game points, but they don't necessarily seem to be. Oh yeah, spend excitement to gain points, that's a great conversion. Okay, so what are you planning, green? You don't really need DNA. Goat pen would work for you. Let's see. Oh, we didn't select. They need blue for this crate, so they will keep a blue worker. They're getting one security, and then advanced DNA needs to be probably orange. Over here, they get two money. We can get an advanced worker, which. Now they need a bit of a mix, really. What's most important to them? Probably security. One, two, three, four, five. This is the last round. Do they want to sacrifice the danger tour? If they... They could come one two, 
three, four, five otherwise, which is better. So I think what they definitely want is a purple, because that's five points. This would only be four. So they're going to keep a purple. Need to get rid of these workers. And they get a security and two basic DNA, which they only need one yellow, they need plenty of red. So let's get two red. Okay. So if they're potentially thinking goat pen, they want at least one yellow worker. Purple doesn't necessarily do much for our green player, unless he wants to go on a really wild tour, which seems unlikely at this point. So this one gives him two of every colour worker. Yeah, let's go with this. So two green, two yellow, an additional blue, and four white. Where have we left your other white meeple? Is he somewhere on here? Okay. Over here, we've got yellow work as being particularly useful at the raptor pen and a green would be no we don't necessarily need to activate the casino we'll go here so one more purple a blue a green two yellow and those white and we will start the final set of turns so did we have, we've got no purples, there's definitely no chance um, that our green player completes this. They've got two pens, they've got one, two, two burning, so they'd have to build three more, which is not happening. So I think they just want the goat pen up here. So if they're keeping yellow workers for the goat pen, one blue worker here. Let's just um, bag up. Where's our final DNA die? On the board still. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Ooh, an interesting mix. That's a nice selection for the final round actually that could probably open up quite a few avenues so we've got wild for everything so there's a strong chance that the red player wouldn't go for the goat pen because it it's no better than the raptor pen they've already got, except they wouldn't need to build all of the raptors. But I think the raptors are worth better points to them than the Gigantosaurus. So they would still want to build them because they've got most of the DNA they need, if not all of it, for two, possibly the third. So our player might be safe in the knowledge he can keep the goat pen. So if he were to go for something else and get DNA, what does he need over here? He's got two orange, two green. He'd need one more green. We need another blue. and two red. So actually we need quite a lot of DNA if we're going to get a 
Yeah, so let's spend three meeples on the wild. Oh, actually, no, we could spend two because it's a double. Oh, that's an amazing dice. This double. We need two blue, two red. I think getting this this third one would be really great if we could actually. So yeah, let's let's use three to get six basic DNA. We'll get two blue, three, four red. That's enough basic for getting everything there. Advanced, to even get two, we're one DNA short. We would need, no, we'd need three more advanced DNA if we're going to do that. Yeah, it's not happening. Let's save one worker. Yeah, we can only we can only get two. We only get two, but that's all we can do really. So that seems fine. We get the DNA dice first. Over here, then. Let's see. We've got to build two of them. We'd need one more advanced DNA and it would be two three four basic red which we have so we'd only need one more advance if we got two more advanced we could potentially build all three so I think sending a blue and a white to get the advanced die We get two advanced DNA because of it, and we'd need three, four, five red DNA. So we'll get one more with our blue worker's wild ability. And we've got the yellow, we've got one purple, and we've got three teal. So yeah, that's enough. We're going to send a worker then from green to get the goat pen and place it here, which would cost six money for. So if we're thinking of assigning two people to it, we need to make sure we have at least some excitement. But that's possible. We can't put it down here, which would, would get us more points because our dupe tour is only four. But at least we can go one, two, three, four and end at the goat pen. And we should have... Yes, we can create dinosaurs here. Ah, create using fewer DNA. I completely forgot about that. So what are we short? Yeah, we're getting rid of one more dice, uh, one more meeple. We wanted the blue, blue and red. That was it, wasn't it? So we'd need three blue, four red. If we're saving two advanced DNA, we we'll need three, four, so a one short on green. We're one short on orange, and we've got enough purple. So yes, we can create two with the incubator. We've got a person there. We can create one down at Make Dino. We've got two workers here. We're going to get two, four. Seven threat. 
We've got four money and it's four to increase security. We can't buy a building. We could get one of these pens with a green worker if we thought No, we couldn't. No, no, don't be silly. All we can do is get money and increase security. So we're definitely covered. But yeah, that's, yeah, incubator to save the advanced DNA. That's going to be huge. Okay. For us then, in the red trunks, we're looking at two people here. We've got enough DNA. It was three, four, five. Yeah, I think we can do it three times. So let's put them down here. One, two, three. We need one purple fella here. We've got these two yellow guys. So five red, three teal, one purple, one yellow. We can fill the micro raptors. So from our Jeep start, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to get a lot of threat though. More than we're going to handle. So we'll probably keep these last two fellas for security detail. We've got plenty of money for that. It would cost eight to increase it twice. And just limit our threat. Yeah, so I think red's gonna pass and green, no, he has to pass. So for our actions, we're gonna get four money and spend four money to increase our security by one. We're gonna create one dinosaur, which will be a red, a blue, a green, an orange, and a purple. Which is immediately two threat, six points. And that's all our spare workers, but Given the order we're going to activate it, we can incubate two in here before we drive in. So that's going to be okay. Around here, we were looking... Oh, why is there another... Oh yeah, I was thinking this yellow person drawn on it was one of our meeples. No. Okay, so we're spending eight on two security and three meeples on these three dinosaurs. So one teal, two red for the first one. Then one teal, two red for the second. One teal, one red, one yellow, one purple for the third. And that's eight threat. <laughs> so we're just a bit short. But it's also 15 points. meant to place this. Let's put it at our entrance. Okay, so yeah, that was strong by red because they've also completed this. They have got four large carnivores and three small carnivores, which gets them eight points. Nobody has managed to get 
enough of these buildings. One, two, three of them. Don't believe security and restaurants count. Well, maybe they do, even though they're the basic buildings, actually. In which case, one, two, three. Yeah, they probably achieved it last round. No. I don't think the white buildings don't count. So restaurant doesn't count. Security, casino, danger, and raptor pen do. So they've got four, and over here we're looking at one, two, three, four as well. So no, neither player managed this objective. Okay, so then it's Jeep Tour. We will start by coming here. And I remember doing that maths last round, so obviously didn't increase it. So we're looking at seven excitement. Not sure if excitement gets us anything at the end, but no deaths anyway, so that's fine. We'll come here. It's two excitement. And we will create up to two dinosaurs using a DNA less. So the first one, it's a red, a blue, a teal, orange, and teal. So teal, orange, teal. Yes, that's right. I was thinking we'd run out then. But the next one for DNA less, we can do an orange, ignore the teal, a blue and a red and then another red and a purple. So that will be 18 and five threat. One, two, three, four, five, and 18 points. Come here, it's three, six, nine, twelve excitement. I didn't feel like that was a particularly spinny roll. That looks very spinny. Perfect. Twelve excitement. Um don't know if you can go above twenty-one. Doesn't look like you can. And then we're coming here. For each person, and we've got to spend three excitement for this second one. So it's a net of minus two. Choose a tile and gain a point for each dinosaur there. So this will be eight points. Oh, still behind. Haven't even run the tour yet. Okay. Where's our little Jeepal? Here he is. So we're going to come to the raptors and it's nine excitement with one death. Let's give them the excitement, nine. So that's one, two, come here for three, and again nine excitement. We come here and get five points for one death. 
I mean, that seems fair. And then we'll come here for each person, and we need to lose two, so one excitement. We gain one point for each micro there, and there are four, so that is eight points. The 34. Let's just end game. Do we get return cheap, evaluate threat? Oh, yeah, we need to do that. And we do get coin income, okay, so. We both get 14 coins, so that's probably not going to be a deciding factor. But I guess that's why you would still want to run through your dangerous pens even at the end of the game. Reset excitement, return workers, evaluate threat. So we have got um, one, two, three, four extra death here in this park, which did start as the death park. Things are actually okay. So then we've got. Parts round marker, clean up Central Island. Yeah. Game end, scoring. We're getting a victory point for every five coins left. So that's four points for red. Green, only three points. Deaths. So determine who has fewest deaths. We've got nine deaths over here and six deaths over here. So discard the player with the fewest discards all their death tokens and all other players discard an equal number. So they will get rid of six of their deaths. For three deaths, um, that's not the clearest. Let's pop this out. Three deaths is only minus two victory points. Okay, losing only three seems okay for that amount of deaths. One, two, three. I like that. I like it's it's relative to whoever came last. So if they're going for a death park, you certainly could. And there we have it. We've got scores of 85 to 73. The slow and steady park from red came good in the end. They got 12 points from scoring these objectives, which is exactly the difference between the players. So the fact that they did focus on it and yellow uh, and yellow and the green player was unable to pick up any of them made the difference. Yeah, that was good fun. It's a little bit of a shame, as I say, that they haven't got a solo mode for this. I would imagine someone is going to create something. But if it is of interest to you, do go on to Kickstarter today. This is the 15th of October, uh, because, as I said, we are into the final few hours. It is 37 hours to go currently. And I will just double check. Let's have a little look through the Kickstarter page. Um, it is going to be amber dice. So the translucent, very much similar to Dinosaur Island. 60 to 120 minutes. How did how did we get on? We were two hours, two hours with just me and talking through everything. So yeah, that's probably about right. It will be slower with four players, but there's a lot of it which is simultaneous as well. So, score track. 
double thick boards. Lots of custom meeple dinosaurs, which look pretty good. Yeah, it looks like they're all Kickstarter exclusive. So I'm not sure what you'd get in retail, whether it's similar to Dinosaur Island, where you just get one dinosaur shape, which would be a shame. Jeep arrows. Nice metal coins, they look pretty good. Six expansion tiles. This is what one thing that has slightly put me off. These high well, there's three different expansions which add um, new park tiles, which is great, a bit of variety, but fifteen dollars each. It's it's quite a bit. And you get three in those pens. These have an adjacency at the end. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like if you match maybe with what's on the outside of the tile, you get one extra threat. New threat die. But where are the stretch goals. Here we go. Solo mode. Is that a solo mode for this? Yeah, actually I suppose. I, I, first time I looked through this I completely glossed over it and saw solo mode for Aurora and Wright. But yeah, there is intended to be a solo mode for this. So that's good. I was going to say, based on what I played, there's no reason why that couldn't be. There was not like an auction mechanism which really requires somebody to be going against. All those custom meeples. A water player board. But that's not adding a fifth player, is it? No. A military player board. So I guess they're just adding alternate artwork on them. What would be nice is if it was on the flip side, so you could just not have a military player board if you didn't want to. Jurassic Garage, yeah, a few extra. I mean, new buildings are always fine. Custom Jeep Ball. Another eraser. So yeah, just just adding in more of the same. It looks like all the custom meeples are pretty good though. But these pledges, if you wanted just Dinosaur World, seventy dollars, ninety-five for both, or one hundred and five for Dinosaur World with three expansion packs or one, two, five for literally everything. Which as it says, it's about £97. So £100 plus you'll have to add your postage in. Um, I don't know if... Our goal is for average shipping to be under $20. So is that $30 for Dinosaur World, 10 for the roll and write. It's unfortunately quite ambiguous. But, yeah. Do leave a comment if you found this a useful playthrough. Um, I do appreciate that. I did see, I, I was having a little nose through the comments earlier. And I do want to just say thank you to, where is he, someone actually linked my Raw and Write playthrough. Oh, that's probably a few hours ago now. 
but I do appreciate it considering there are much uh, more well-established content creators who have put out uh, playthroughs. I, I'll take it as a, a compliment that they decided to um, suggest mine. Where did I read it? It was somewhere on here. This one. Marco Tetti. I think that's right. Yeah. So yes, I do appreciate seeing little things like that, although it wasn't tagged to me. Lovely to see it. But I'll wrap this up here and hopefully catch you all very soon for another run through. Do take care and uh, yeah, bye for now.